Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 2x squared minus 5x plus 67 equals 0, and we need to solve this by completing the square. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract a 67 on both sides. So I have a 2x squared minus 5x equals a negative 67. Now my coefficient up front, a, is 2. I'm going to divide all parts by 2 now because of that. So we have an x squared here minus 5 halves x. I'm going to leave a space, then my equal sign, then negative 67 over 2. My b value is negative 5 halves, so I use my formula, 1 half times a negative 5 halves squared. Well, 1 half times negative 5 halves is a negative 5 fourths, and then we square all of that, and we get a 25, positive 25 over 16. So I'm going to add that 25 over 16 to both sides of the equation. Same process as before, just with fractions, but same rules still apply. The left-hand side is a perfect square of an x minus 5 fourths squared. The right-hand side, when added together, comes out to be a negative 511 over 16. We now take the square root of both sides. Again, same process. And we have an x minus a 5 fourths here equals plus or minus, well the square root, uh, <laughs> the square root of negative 5, 11, or 16, we can take the square root of each part individually, and the numerator breaks down to be, well, square root of negative 1 times the square root of 511. The denominator, square root of 16, is just 4. We can add a 5 fourths to both sides, so we have x equals a positive 5 fourths plus or minus, now square root of negative 1 is i, times Square root of 5, 11, over 4. Let's continue up here. And notice we have the same denominator of 4 and 4. So we can write this as a single statement of 5 plus or minus i square root of 511, which doesn't simplify anymore, over 4. Now, that plus or minus really is two different numbers, so if we write that out, we have 5 plus i square root of 511 over 4, and 5 minus i square root of 511 over 4, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.